Hey, what up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Tyler, and this girls' basketball highlight is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. We follow the defending Division I CIF champion Long Beach Poly Jackrabbits on the road here, round two of the playoffs here at the interesting confines of the Marlboro School. As you can see, the entire seating area right there in those chairs. Tough matchup for the Jackrabbits, though. The Mustangs with three six-footers on the roster. They've even got 6'4 coming off the bench. That means Skylar Mills and company going to need to battle on the boards tonight. But Polly would be game. Whenever it's CIF playoff time, everyone in California knows the Jackrabbits are going to be a tough out. That Polly defense always travels, and it did tonight. But in the early going, Hannah Speaks showing off Marlboro's rebound advantage with the offensive board. But Polly countering from downtown. Skylar Mills with the splashdown top of the key. But the Mustangs, again, using their size advantage, Speaks, speaks on it for the and one. Fortunately for Polly, though, they had Nala Williams. Great dish to Jelena Taliauli for two. Then off the Destiny Horton save. Shot clock winding down. Desperation heave is in. Oh, it's like that, apparently. Crowd loves it. Bench is like, I, I can't. I mean, we told her to shoot. I didn't think she was actually going to make that. Unreal. Closing seconds now of the quarter. I mean, just look for Nala. Let her throw it up. No way. Yes. Two buzzer beaters in one quarter. We're tied at 11 after the first. Uh, crazy, crazy start to this one. In the second quarter, Polly ran through Mills. Skyler was locked in with the jump shot, hitting from everywhere on the floor. She had nine of her 12 points in that quarter, uh, really draining it from all over the place. I mean, boxing fans know that that was Mills Lane when they got her the ball in there. A big scoring lift for the Jackrabbits, but... Polly couldn't pull away from Marlboro. I mean, 6'4 is still 6'4. You're going to get some of those easy ones inside. Then Bella Munoz is going to hit a rare three ball for the Mustangs. And again, 11 11 in that quarter. We're tied at 22 at halftime. And then Crystal Caldwell started to cook in the third. Great blow by and bucket. And then this clean pickpocket. Take that to the bank for two more. Not many easy buckets in this game. So those are extra valuable when you get those. How else do you defend against bigger teams? Well, you can sacrifice the body and take a charge. That's one way to do it, as Caldwell does it there. Also, some help side defense. Nala with one of her six steals coming over to help the post. Here's another one of those steals. Thought this was going to lead to an and one, but that's called an offensive foul to wave off the bucket. Polly's bench definitely surprised, but Polly did win that third quarter 8-1. to one and they lead 30 to 23 after three. In the fourth, Nala says, here's your three point play right here. Bang, she had three triples in this one. And uh, you're gonna see a lot more of 10 as this quarter goes along. Here she comes as the help side defender. Yeah, you're 6'2", and after the perfect block, drops the dime to Talia Uli for the and one. I mean, you're not gonna see too many plays better than that. Just extra cold from Nala. I mean, she just had that look in her eyes the entire second half. She just was not going to let Polly lose this game. Here she comes with the drive and the floater. The power of the Nala on full display in this one. Oh, by the way, also doing it on the glass as she had a team-high 11 rebounds. Fouled here, and that'll send her to the free throw line. Where, oh, by the way, she was 8 of 11 to help pad Polly's lead going through that fourth quarter. And then even on a miss, if I slip up, I just fall into a better situation. The ball always seemed to find her. Polly up five with a minute left. Here she comes with the takeaway in transition, coming back the other way, probably rushed this floater, but guess who? Yup, NW right there for the rebound. She's like, all right, yeah, I know I rushed the floater, but we got this. We're settling down, we're good. Williams with 19 points, 11 rebounds, 6 steals, 2 assists, 1 block, and just 1 turnover. Special. And Long Beach Poly going to celebrate the road victory. 41-34 is your final, as the Jackrabbits will advance to the quarterfinals on Saturday, where they will visit Fairmont Prep. We want to thank all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, for their support of local sports coverage. And if you want to keep up with these Jackrabbits and all the other playoff teams in the LBC, you know you got to stay right here at the562.org.